What is up, everybody? It's Don Ashcraft from Olympus TCG here at the LCQ in Columbus, Ohio, for the Nationals Invite. And I'm here with a deck profile today with Derek McDill, who played. Uh, Roll U6. And we're doing the deck profile with Derek on his invite. Yeah. Derek's an Ellipsis team member, so let's uh, dive right into what you played today. Okay, so Broly Leader, pretty simple from the front. Attack, take a life, draw a card. And you can restand to energy, awaken. Um, when he attacks, when he's awakened, he draws a card. You, once per turn, can rest one of your opponent's battle cards. Then you can take a life and restand any card you have. So, pretty good leader. So, we'll get into the U6 cards first. Uh, best card in the deck. Good old Chavavada. Allows you to do all of the crazy plays with the four drops because it makes their combo cost free. And then on top of it, if your opponent is to remove it from the board through a skill, you get to pitch a card from your hand and rest one of your opponent's energy. So, definitely most important card in the deck. And then we have four one drop Khalifas. One drop Khalifa, this, if I didn't see this or the two drop in my opening hand. We're gonna put the pretty one on top. That's fair. I, we'll hide the common. <laughs> put it away where it belongs. <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> uh, but if I didn't see this or the two drop in my opening hand, I would maybe keep a multicolor card and then just mold the rest. Because you need an evolved target for the four drop. And even if you have the four drop and you don't have an evolved target, there's no reason to keep it. But then we get to the two drop. We main boarded three because this card was kind of like slightly lackluster in testing, but good card. You take a life, you tap one of your opponent's energy. And good self awakener against ramp because they're not gonna hit you. So, you might as well just take your own life. And my personal favorite card of the deck. Leafa the Awakened Sister. Um, so, when you combo with this card, you can play it on top of a yellow Khalifa that you have in your battle area. And then when this card is played, you can choose one of your opponent's cards and switch it to rest mode. On top of it, it's a 20k double strike body that you just, like I said earlier, put on top of this. So, my, like I said, personal favorite card in the deck. And we get to some Kale stuff, finally. <laughs> uh, Kale, Tim, and Sister. This card was just kind of a combo piece to grab back uh, either Kefla or Champabados after arriving in Champabados, or possibly the four drops need be. But other than that, the card was okay. Then we played two Kale the Awakened Sister. Um, two felt right after testing as originally playing with three. Um, Three was a little bit too cloggy, especially because it is a tap one 10k card and you don't always have Trompa Bottoms on board, so two was fine. Then the promo card, Brilliant Pairing Kefla. This card helped me push for games more often in testing than it actually did at the event, but it did come up twice. And just having the extra push for in certain scenarios was enough. So, yeah, but just free Union Patoro, blue and yellow cap, or blue and yellow leaf and cap. But then there is this card. We're gonna go ahead and uh, also shout out to Dylan. We'll do shout outs at the end. But, but shout out to Brad yeah, for lending me this card. Because um, I actually did play this card twice. Um, when I once when I played it, it won me the game. The second time I played it, it ended up losing me the game. But that is okay. Um, just really powerful card. 
Uh, if your opponent's at six, you tap five, play it, you rest four of their energy, and you draw four cards. So. And, you know, a super combo, pretty standard. It's a U6, so we can search it off with a one drop Khalifa. And get into our multicolored, like, core, I guess. <laughs> Three Chomp of the Trickster, three Undying Spirit, and four Beerus the Fickle God. Um, this card was this card was actually really good against Ramp. I had several people try to tap out and play um, Figure of Majesty, and then I just put it back in their hand, and it just shuts off their entire turn from there. So because you can have a free World Peace, but if you you might want to just draw cards at that point because you're playing a lot of 10Ks. So, but this card, okay. Not the best this weekend, but this card. This card won me so many games against Ramp because they would world peace in Kaioken, and I'm just like, that's not happening. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Puts a card in rest mode, ignoring barrier, and he replaces himself with starting your opponent's turn. So, wonderful card. Then Beerus of Fickle God, I feel like it's just kind of a uh, just kind of a standard if you're playing blue yellow. If you charge a blue yellow, he comes in and active if there's another one in your energy. So and then, <laughs> we're gonna talk about both of these together because they're Pretty fucking stupid. So, Furthering Destruction Trampa and Mira Creator Absorbed. Um, Mira gains 5k for every card in your warp, and you restate it with Broly Leader, so, and he keeps the initial attack buff. And then this card being put on him, allowing him to have double strike, swinging for basically infinite, is pretty obnoxious. I don't really think I need to explain that any further. <laughs> And because we're playing Broly, the one of Bloodlust, and then because we are playing Blue and we are playing an aggro deck, we have four cents of bean. And this card was a last minute tech choice because of Dylan. Desperate measures. Um, I don't like being counterplayed, so if. My opponent activated a Champa, activated a Gohan, G to the Cruel, anything. I just tap one blue and tell them to put it back in their hand. <laughs> nice. And then the one card that I would have changed in the main deck is this one. Um, I love Nimbus, but currently in the format, Tie Magic is just better. Uh, but in the mirror, this card would definitely be sided in. But then uh, we can get on to sideboard. So, first card in the sideboard uh, was a just, a just a tech choice just because of ramp. Um, ramp and Janemba, but uh, Frost, Path to Full Power. Um, and recycle three cards three costs or more from your drop, shuffle them back into your deck, then choose one card in your opponent's drop and put it back in their deck. So I used this card several times. I actually was able to search this off of the one drop Khalifa, which is really nice. Um, but I used this card several times to put back my ramp opponent's Kaioken from their drop back into their deck, and then they didn't have a follow-up play for the next turn. Oh. And um, I actually expected to see a lot of Janemba. I didn't, but this card was for Janemba, um, allowing me to grab back Miras for like killing blows on the next turn. Um, just really solid card. And like I said, for Janemba, <laughs> three TN. TN good card just against blue leaders in general. Didn't see a lot of blue leaders regardless. Um, 
one dark power black mass sand. I honestly didn't side this in all weekend. It probably should have been something else, but eh, eh, you live and you learn. Then the card that should have been in the main board. Um, <laughs> By Magic. This card was absolutely ridiculous <laughs> when I sighted it in. And against Shenron, the opponent activated triple attack on Goji to 7. I said no because I drew this. <laughs> um, yeah, don't need to go any further than that. Um, then these are just repeat cards of what are in the main. Um, I cited these in against Ramp because I wanted to be able to aggro them a little bit harder. And I needed to see Trumpa because I did not want to lose to Kaioken or Gogeta 7. And then one more Desperate Measures, same thing. Four. And then two Mifuba. Um, just thought it was a good generic card, didn't really. There wasn't too much thought process behind this one, but, yeah. Alright, that's, All right. Right. that's it for the deck. How about some uh, shoutouts? Um, well, man behind the camera. Uh, for four Chompavados. <laughs> for um, four Chompavados, Amira, the Shiny Mafuba, yeah. half the tech choices. Yeah, was, <laughs> the testing. Yeah, okay. was, there was a lot. There was a lot. But, um, shoutouts to Dylan, Brad, all of ellipsis. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I don't. All right, man. No. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and all that fun stuff for more videos. Boom. <laughs>